And this is your total body workout. Cardio, abs, glutes, and full body stretching all in one session today. Prepare to sweat, and as always, team, mind for absolute success. Let's dive right in, and we begin this workout session with quick and effective cardio warm up intervals. 45 seconds work, 15 seconds to transition to the next exercise. This is your walk to plank on the position. Prepare and let's dive in, team. For my beginners, of course, you can put your knees on the floor while you're doing your shoulder taps. And while we're doing this warm up, I will give you quick thoughts up what to expect from this workout session. This is totally no repeat exercises session and all the intervals, guys. 45 seconds. So we definitely have to give this our absolutely best from the first till the last second. As always, guys, we have three different circuits. First one is a cardio. Second one is the glutes focused one with the weight. Last one, 15 seconds transition. And the third one, guys, is your abs focused circuit. On the position team, Knee lift to kick. Three, two, one, begin. I'm holding my arms team over hot so we can warm up and wake up our body quicker. Just the fact itself holding those arms up nice and straight, definitely making it a little bit more intense. Keep on working. So, three circuits. 10 exercises in each and every circuit. First one is a cardio, second one glute focused, and I have a couple different weights. You don't have to have a heavier weight, it's just more convenient for the bridges, glutes rest, to have a one dumbbell instead two. One more, 15 seconds break. Excellent, guys. Next exercise, take a look at the demo already. I can feel my body is waking up. This is your power skipper. If you're not doing any higher impacts, you will do just your knee lifts. And from now on, we're gonna hop in this cardio warm up block. Few higher impact exercises. I will give you modifications for those. Keep on working, guys. In between our circuits, by the way, we're gonna have a 30 seconds break. So if you need to drink your water on a quick breaks, which are 15 seconds, you can do that as well. You just have to be really quick. I don't want you to lose even one second today. Couple more seconds, guys. Last one, your next exercise, your butt kicks. If you're not doing any higher impacts, you're gonna do just the hamstring curl Quick one without jumping. On the position, guys. And here we go. I'm gonna go for the regular butt kicks. Heart rate up, everyone. Keep on moving and try to use those arms. That will definitely bring the heart rate up faster. This is it, almost through, guys. 20 seconds left. Finish strong, guys. Under 10 seconds, push it through. Three, two, one. 15 seconds, little break. We're gonna go on the floor, guys. This is your Plank regular push up to your Kroger. Instead the hop, 
you can do step to your frogger, guys. On the position, begin. And my beginners, definitely do your push-ups on the knees if you have to. Stay with me, guys. We are halfway through already. This one. All the way. Finish strong, guys. At least one more push up. One more. Come on up. Excellent. That was a really, really sweaty one. We'll move into the exercise. Number six, already out of 10. This is your reverse lunge with your kick. Begin your work. We alternate the legs. Try to maintain that good steady balance. Brace your core, guys. Almost under 15 seconds already, friends. One more kick. Excellent. All right, number seven. Standing exercise. You're a speed skater. Do the slower shuffles if you have to, guys. Hold in that position. Here we go. All the way, guys. This is perfect. Keep on moving. We're almost through our first circuit already. This was an awesome workout when you don't have much time to do everything. Cardio to keep the heart healthy, strings, endurance, abs and glutes. What can be better, right? One more skater. This is it. All right, my friends. We back to the plank exercise number eight. This is your swing mountain climber. If you're not doing the swing, do the regular step mountain climber. Hold in the position, guys. Get ready. Only 45 seconds. Start with a swing. See where it takes you. This is perfect. Right, my friends, we are under 15 seconds already. This is it. Couple more swing climbers, and we got this. All right, go ahead and take your reverse position. This is your tricep push up with your leg lift as your option in the reverse table top. All ready, team. Here we go. Connect on the center. Do your best, guys. Do your absolutely best to return back into the quality reverse table top. This is it. Awesome. We have about 10 seconds left for this sweaty exercise. This is it. One more crunch, team. All right. Final exercise of our cardio circuit, guys. This is your lateral crawl in your bear. 
do it in your tabletop if you have to begin the work. It's a simultaneous step. Hand and foot. Awesome work, guys. This is it. If you do the full crawl with me, try to hold those knees right above the floor. I know your legs are crying now. This is it, this is it. Almost through, guys. 10 seconds. Wider step, stomach in. Finish strong. This is it, last one. That was a challenging one. We are due to the water break and we're gonna move to the next block. This is your glute focus block. Of course, we're gonna do some arms there as always. This is your total body. We just put a strong focus on your glutes. Grab your dumbbells quickly. This is your squat with the arms drive. All the way, guys. Awesome. I want you to make sure you squat away from the knees, guys. I'm using five pound set for this block. Each dumbbell is a five pounds. Into the glutes, guys. This is gonna fly by so quickly when it's completely no repeat. Awesome, couple more squats. We can, one more guys. Squeeze the glutes on top, excellent. Take a look at your demo. This is your plie squat with the tippy toes hold. Your arms on the side, hold completely optional guys. Here we go. Tailbone under, lift your heels. I know. When we do those eyes of holds, this is so challenging. Squeeze the glutes on the way up, guys. Don't quit. Squeeze the glutes when you land your heels. Nice and tight. Squeeze them. Five seconds, this is it, guys. Squeeze, last one. All the way back. That was really challenging for legs and for the arms at the same time. Your courtesy lunges with the bicep curl, guys. Get ready. On the position, here we go. Weights are light. You must focus, as always, on an excellent execution, excellent form, guys. This is awesome. All right, all the way. I want you to feel your glute every single lunge. Wider and lower. This is awesome. All the way, guys, all the way. Keep the chest lifted. Don't fall forward. This is the last one. Excellent. We're gonna go, guys, on the floor. This is exercise number four. Your lean back exercise. Your arms hold is totally optional, my friends. You can do it. Do not squat. You must lean back from the knees to the top of your head. Your body is as a long line. Quads and glutes here, guys. You're holding your arms, of course. <laughs> You're working them like crazy as well. Squeeze the glutes. Breathe, guys. Lean back, squeeze the glutes, activate the quads. Five seconds. 
one more. This is good. All right, we're gonna go for the glutes rest, guys. Number five, hold your dumbbells, how it's comfortable. I want you to really squeeze the glutes on top after this rest. Begin. Push your hips slightly forward. Make an extra effort to tuck your tailbone under and squeeze the glutes even stronger. This is it. Keep working, guys. We have 115 seconds left. Finish strong, guys. Couple more, couple more. One more, guys. Excellent, all right. You will need only one dumbbell. Unilateral exercises. We're gonna finish donkey kicks and slight rotation on one side. Then we do exactly the same thing on the other, on the position. Begin. One, rotation, two, don't touch the floor. One, two, three. Don't touch the floor, squeeze the dumbbell. I want you to lift your knee up to 90, up to 90 degrees at least, or slightly more. Stomach pain, brace your core, your abs are solid and motionless, guys. Push it up. We have one more at least. Let's do one more. Excellent. One second more is always better than one second less. Quickly, guys, change. We're gonna go exactly for the same exercise. Ready or not, here we go. Try not to touch the floor with that knee. So you keep resistance in your glute. This is it. Keep working, guys. Solid on your abs. That's so important so you don't help yourself to lift that weight with your back. Isolate your glute. One more. This is it. Quickly. Transfer on your back, guys. Take a look at your demo. Your dumbbell is totally optional here. If you do do your dumbbell, that's not your wrinkle hold. This is in between your feet, guys. Begin the work. Frogger. Push it, guys. In, Frogger. Push it. In, Frogger. Push. In, Frogger. Your lower back must be on the floors, guys. Activate your reps. Focus, 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 guys. Holding your back on the floor. If you need to bring your legs slightly higher, that's gonna help you to hold the back on the ground. One more. This is it. Nice and safe. Excellent. That was a challenging one. All right, my friends. This is your glute bridge. Single leg. I'm gonna grab the 10 pounds weight. We isolate one side only. Begin your work. Push it rest up. Keep the other leg engaged. Try not to rest on the floor with your hips. This is only 45 seconds. Keep working. As high as you can. Five seconds to finish. 
one more guys this is awesome all right final exercise of this circuit for the glutes guys same thing on the other side make sure you use rust with power till the very last second begin your work keep the luck high Squeeze it, guys, all the way through. I know how challenging it is. Even without weight, on a one leg, 45 second isolation for the glute, this is burning, literally burning. Push it higher and squeeze that half a second, quarter of the second on top, last one. Come on up, all right. So quickly, so quickly, guys. So we're moving already towards the circuit number three, which is your half of this with the weights, which is your optional, and half without the weights. Dumbbells totally optional, but strongly recommended, guys. This is your abs focus circuit. We begin. All right, team, come on up, and we will begin. It's just a few seconds. This is your standing rotation with the punch. Stay in your squat, guys. So your legs are working pretty good too, all the way through. I need you guys to focus on this exercise, on holding your good steady squats again. And give me quality rotation and punch all the way. I know, abs focused, circuit, legs working like crazy as well. This is it, finish strong guys, just a few seconds. Last one, come on up. All right, take a look at your demo. We're gonna begin with arms over hot guys. And this is gonna be your straight luck lift to your side crunch. Begin your work the same leg. Switch the legs. Awesome. Beautiful. Give me good up work here. Drive the flex through the center of your body in good oblique crunch. The same luck for both exercises. Finish strong, guys. Last one. Come on down on your kneeling position. You will need just your one dumbbell. This is your kneeling tornado exercise, guys. That's not gonna be easy, but definitely amazing for us. Hold those arms straight, team. And give me good steady rotation on a good healthy speed when you can maintain a good form. This is perfect. Stay with me, guys. Stay with me. About 15 seconds to go. This is good. All right, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Last rotation. Grab your second dumbbell quickly. And then we're gonna go on the floor. This is your roll up to your sole rotation. We will alternate sides for the rotation twist. Come on up. Just like this. My beginners, if you have to bend your knees for your roll up and replace it with a sit up, you can definitely do it.
All right, guys, under 10 seconds already. Finish strong, everyone. One more, one more sit up. Excellent, this is your Russian twist. See the Russian twist. Final exercise with the weights, guys. Make sure your elbows outside, rotate through the waistline. Get into your sweet spot. If you forgot where it is, this is the place where you feel your abs and don't feel your forehead or your chest, right? You have to feel those abs, guys. All the way. Stay with me, Tim. Ten seconds. We're gonna rock our dumbbells very quickly and we stay in seated, my friends. Last one. You won't need your weights today at all. This is your double leg lift to crunch. Bend your knees, guys, on the double leg lift if you have to. It's essentially your boat to crunch. But we first activate the lower abs in order to lift those legs. This is it. Challenge in one. Touch your wrinkles. Lift, crunch, back, down. Lift, crunch, back. I know, guys. This is it. Almost for last 10 seconds. Push it, guys. One more. We can do one more. This is it. Come on down on your knees. One of my favorite exercises for abs. Try to make sure you don't shuffle your feet. You just carry through. All right, guys. Let's do it. Try to make sure you hover carry over. All the way outside. Do it far, guys. We got this. All right, 10 seconds. Last one, excellent. In order to have a beautiful flat abs, guys, we need strings, crunches, variety of exercises, but also a good stretch of the front line on the position, up dog. Reach, up dog, reach, other side. Watch your shoulders on your upward facing dog, guys. Shoulders away from the ears. We are. Under 10 seconds already, team. Keep working. Last one. Beautiful. This is your tricep push up to side plank hip dip. We finish strong. We have a couple more exercises only left before our stretching. We begin in the side plank. Ready? Let's do it. Do your tricep on your knees, guys, if you have to. Hip dip, guys. Watch the shoulder on that hip dip and put your knee on the floor if it's needed. 
We're almost through, guys. And last one. All right, team. Your final exercise of this abs focus circuit is your lower ab work and the bound fit in your frogger. You need to activate your lower abs, guys. Lift your feet using your abs. Try to keep your arms on the same level pretty much. This is it. Good job. Finish strong, guys. Five seconds, five seconds, guys. One more rep. We did it, and we did it together, my friends. We have about 14 minutes to close down our workout, and we begin on our back. Take a big inhalation and an exhalation. Stretch your entire body from head to toes, all the way through, from fingertips to your feet. Hey, and go ahead and take your right leg up. You can bend your knee if you have to, or keep your knee with me extended and gently push on this leg. We did a great work, burned a lot of calories, and now it's time to stretch. Go ahead and send this leg all the way on the side. Good hip flexor stretches. Hold it for a couple more seconds. So this stretch can do what it's supposed to do. Go ahead and cross over. Change the grip for your ankle. Set your foot across the leg on the floor. Hold it for a few seconds. Excellent, and we're going to switch the direction. Other leg up. Feel free, guys, to bend your knee if you have to. Otherwise, try to hold this leg extended. Soft knee and press on top. Maybe you're holding where the calf is, maybe the hamstring. Doesn't have to be your ankle. And we'll have then send the leg on the floor. All the way on the floor. This is it. And we're gonna change the grip and take this foot all the way across the leg on the floor. Hold it for a few seconds with me. This is good. And let's slowly undo both legs and start gently to take your body up. Sit it forward, fold. We will fold this fold for a good few seconds. So the back gets a full benefit. Try to, try to keep your knees soft and straight if it's possible. And go ahead and draw your both feet together. We will fold forward right in the center. few seconds hold guys and go ahead and send your one foot all the way behind and another foot up front this is an easy variation for pigeon so just make sure guys you fold forward through the hips and we will hold this form for just a few seconds. Send a quality strong exhalation to your lower back and to your hips. Come on up and we go for the half spinal twist. So put your hands on top on your feet if that's available and 
Give it a gentle twist. And let's switch the sides. So we're gonna put the other leg up front. Make sure that you feel yourself seated leveled on the floor and fold forward just the same way we did. Continue to fold through your hip flexor. Take a deep breath in and send it right into the lower back and the hip. In just a couple more seconds to make sure that stretch does exactly what it's supposed to do. And come on back up for the half spinal twist. Put your hands on your feet and give it a gentle rotation. Nice and tall on your back, guys. And come on back down into the center. All right, I'm ready to move you on your kneeling position for that gentle side-to-side -side hip rocking. We did quite a few standing exercises today. So we're gonna give a good decompression to our lower back and hips doing this one. One of my favorite for the lower back. One of my favorite exercises. And let's do just one more on each side. And last one, guys. This is it, awesome. Go ahead and reach your opposite arms and legs all the way. If balancing tabletop not available for you yet, that's okay, you will get there, I promise. Just tap your one foot or hand on the floor. If you're ready for the bind, I'm so proud of you. Go ahead and reach to your ankles. Freeze. Excellent. We will let it go and we do exactly the same stretch on the other side. Balancing tabletop if you can or top foot or hand on the floor. Don't just hold them. I want to see the stretching and lengthening from the fingertips to the toes. Reach and bind if you can. Even if it's not there, I want you team to be proud of yourself. Set the strong intentions inside and the physical body will reflect it shortly. All right, my friends, we're gonna go for the lunges. But first, we're gonna go for downward facing dog, stretch our back. And from our dog, we reach our one leg up and we step for the good quality wide stance, low lunge. Make sure that your front knee somewhere approximately staying above the ankle. Give me a good shoulders, rotations. We will give it opposite direction, rotation to make sure. And if you can, guys, if you are with me, Opposite arm to your front leg, behind, and then bind. If you have to support your lunge with your hands on the floor, then today you will simply skip your shoulders work. Hold it for a few extra seconds. And undo the bind. We're gonna move towards the back leg. Try to extend, guys, your knee, front knee fully and set your hip above that other knee, fold forward. Nice and gentle, it doesn't have to be a deep, low forward fold, but what I want you to focus is on a straight, soft knee, straight, soft knee and forward fold through the hip flexor. Come on back down to your low lunges. Another side rotation. Excellent. Let's slowly return back 
to your kneeling position. Downward facing dog. Amazing stretch for full body, by the way. If you don't appreciate your downward facing dog yet, you will be soon. And the more we practice it as we lock up, the easier it becomes. Like with everything else, quality stance, guys. Front knee, front ankle, shoulder rolls. Give me good rotation, good range of motion, and switch the direction. If you don't have to support, guys, your low lunge with your hands on the floor, then we bind on this side as well. Relax the hips and let the gravity take charge. Breathe, guys. And another side rotation opening for the lower back hips and the upper body. We transfer the weight towards the back leg. Find the good steady forms. It requires a little bit balance as well. Hip and knee. And we fold forward with your front knee. Roll, extend it, back guys. This forward fold comes straight from the hip. This is perfect. All right, friends, we come back to the center. Step back, we're ready for gentle. Poppy pose, another stretch for the back and shoulders. Do your best to set your tailbone team in between the knees. Chest down towards the floor. Just a few seconds more. Come on up slowly. We're ready for the few variations of the back bend. And I'm almost ready to let you go. So go ahead and tuck your toes. Reach arms up. We begin with a single arm. Hips forward and chest up. Switch the sides. You can repeat this one one more time, guys. So we're gonna go for hands towards the ankles, hips forward, chest up. Slowly coming back up. Tuck your toes, we're going back to the final, downward facing dog. Can reach all the way across. Good stretch for the abdomen. If you need to be on your knees, guys, for this stretch, this is totally fine. Three point can be a challenging position for my beginners. Walk back to the standing position with me. All the way, we have just a couple side lunges and a couple lateral stretches. Step wider, go ahead and dive down on one side. If that's already good, hold your hands on the floor or explore if you can sit a little bit deeper. It might not be there yet, then don't worry about it. And all the way through the center to the other side. Support yourself first. And then see if you can dive a little bit deeper. This is awesome, feels so good. Come on up guys, slowly. Bring your both feet closer to each other. 
reach, hop in, give me a gentle lateral stretch. Take this arm all the way above your butt. That's right. Nora, front of the face, and come on back up. Fantastic work, everybody. Reach all the way. Inhalation. Exhalation sets your mind for absolute success. No matter what you touch and what comes through your day, you can conquer anything. Outstanding work, guys. I'm so proud of you and I mean it. Rest well, recover well. And by the way, if that was your first workout with us, welcome on board of Team Result Driven People. That's what we do here every single day. We're building strong body and sharp minds. Help me to share the videos with others. And don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and comments down below. I will see you all tomorrow.